Around 1959, Len Lai turned his attention from films to a new kind of art, which he calls tangibles. My name is Sarah. I'm the assistant Len Lai curator, and I'm sitting here with Evan Webb, director of the Len Lai Foundation. Um, Evan, a lot of work goes on behind the scenes in preparing Len Lai sculptures for exhibition. Can you please tell us uh, what's involved in preparing some of Lai's sculptures for display? Thanks, Sarah. Um, I'm very happy to be here in the Len Lai Centre helping with the installation of uh, this exhibition with you. I've been associated now with the foundation and the collection for almost 30 years, and my principal role has been to uh, restore the kinetic works and also to reconstruct by reconstruct, uh, we, I mean we have to uh, uh, retire the original works so they don't continue to wear out. And also to make works that are more reliable for exhibition purpose. And by that I mean the, the exhibition challenge you've presented us with this time is a 16 week exhibition where each work will be uh, performing twice an hour, and I did some quick maths on this, and that is in the order of 1,500 performances for each work. So one of the challenges of preparing the works for exhibition, and certainly the reconstructions, is that they are able to perform, for, uh, uh, at, to perform as well as possible for that number of times and for that length of time. So one of the challenges is to prepare the works and certainly the, what I call the elements, the pieces that do the vibrating and shaking, uh, so that they can withstand that period of exhibition as well as possible. And this involves uh, experimentation, it involves new techniques of securing the uh, elements in the sculptures, but it also involves uh, the mechanisms themselves that make the elements vibrate. It also involves making those as robust and as uh, reliable as possible. You call them tangible motion sculptures, Lie. Why? Uh, I suppose uh, for the sake of uh, Sweet Rose and all that, but um, uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> But the uh, business is actually the uh, isolation of motion as something definite and uh, calling it uh, uh, a name which uh, uh, alludes to a quality of uh, making sculpture tangible in terms of motion.